Jokic. She became mm-hmm. the first player in franchise history to have 3,000 assists and 5,000 rebounds. So another record-breaking night for him. Describe, it's hard to keep track of all that, I, isn't it? Describe what you saw from him on the floor. Yeah, I felt the biggest play uh, tonight, um, fourth quarter, we're struggling, can't score, can't get a stop. Um, can't stop the clock to get our subs in. We had a log jam at the scorer's table. So take the time out. They're making a hell of a run. And Nicola, who's been on the bench for however many minutes, comes out and just cool hand loop, knocks down a three-point shot. Uh, and that just speaks to his resolve, his calmness, um, and, and just being the clutch player that he's been for seven years. So, um, and, and it's, it's hard, man, 28, 21, and nine. Um, I, it was great that he's coming off Western Conference Player of the Week. The numbers that he put up in that, in that press release was incredible. I, I don't know if I've seen numbers like that before. Uh, the turnovers tonight were really alarming. You know, that, that is, I told our players, this is not the recipe uh, for success on a long road trip to have 25 turnovers for 38 points. So we have to clean that up. But what allowed us to kind of weather that storm was second half, our defense was terrific. Um, they shot 38 from the field and 26 from three. Um, so, again, not a pretty pretty game. Both games against the Pistons uh, were slugfests, uh, but I will take 2-0 any day. Uh, and now we go to Brooklyn and uh, and try to get one uh, tomorrow night against a very talented team. You got on them after the first quarter about the defense. What changed? What do you think stuck with them to have that be the shift, especially in the second half? Well, you know, my message this morning was, you know, we defended one quarter last night, uh, and that was enough uh, for two nights ago, rather. That was enough for us to get the win in their building, uh, it, it can't be just one quarter. Uh, and, and just more importantly, if you're getting Detroit, I'm just worried about us. Uh, the, prior, the last four games, we've had the 30th ranked defense in the NBA. Uh, you don't want to be 30th in anything. Um, so it, it, I challenge our guys, like, I, let's not get into a mindset of, we're going to outscore Detroit. We're going to just trade baskets and make it a shootout and who, who can score the most points. That is a losing proposition in the long run. You might win a game here and there, but uh, we, we can't do that. So. Uh, obviously, after the first quarter, I think our defense was much, much better. Uh, Kate Cunningham, what a hell of a player. Uh, had a game tonight, uh, showed you uh, why he was such a high pick, scoring, rebounding, playmaking, uh, and that kid's future is very, very bright. They got a special one here in Detroit. Michael, can you remember a time when you guys won when the opponent scored 38 off your turnovers? Not very often. No, I tell you, the game that jumps out, we had a game in Sacramento probably a few years ago, and it might have been close to 40 points off turnovers. You just can't do it. You know, it's hard to beat your opponent while you're beating yourself. And, and we got lucky tonight. We got away with it. And our defense was able to do that. I felt down the stretch, we had some really big defensive possessions. Jeff Green had a huge block, defensive player of the game. Um, the guy acted like he just won the Oscar. I mean, he was so excited that he finally won that. Did he have a speech ready? He actually did. He actually did. Um, oh, obviously, Aaron Gordon had some one. I thought Austin Rivers' take foul and transition was a huge play where to stop their break. Um, so, well, again, not pretty. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll learn from it. And obviously, we got to turn the page and get ready for a game tomorrow night. Nicola talked about that rebound from Monte Morris, too, in that fourth, like one of the last plays yeah. of the game. Yeah. For Monte not to have the best shooting night, but to still be able to make a, a huge contrib- contribution down the stretch. Yeah, I, I think it's a great point. You know, Monte's. Uh, eight boards. I mean, if your starting point guard is getting you eight rebounds, that's a hell of a number. Our rebounding, as you hear us always talk about, Katie, is gang rebounding, not just on the bigs. Uh, so he had eight of those. We had rebounded them by 20 as a team, which is a huge uh, rebound margin in our favor. Um, and then he also goes to the foul line and makes six of six, especially those two late, which were kind of um, cemented the game, if you will. So uh, some guys that go three for 14, they kind of withdraw within themselves and feel sorry for themselves. Uh, and Monte found other ways to impact the game, which is great. We'll do one quick one on the Zoom. Go ahead, Esteban. Hi, Coach. Congrats for the win. Hey, what can you tell me about the big season from Sig Nagy and Jeff Green so far? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I think Zeke has been just fantastic lately. You know, he's shooting the ball with great, great confidence. There's no hesitation. He's catching the ball, raising up, um, and and he's very, very efficient. Three of four from the field, two of two from the free throw line, and five rebounds, four on the offensive glass. Uh, So I'm really proud of Zeke, how well he's played. Um, And Jeff Green, you know, he misses a game uh, with the sore quad, 
comes out tonight, 20 points, four rebounds, and uh, some big, big plays on both ends of the floor. So uh, we've been getting contributions. Yes, we have a great player, Nikola Jokic, but we've been getting really good contributions from a lot of players. And that's why we're seven and three in our last 10 games. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.